guys, so today I have a January favorites for you, and it's non-makeup related. It's just hair care and skin care, and I have one item that I really just dislike, and I just want to let you guys know that I don't recommend it whatsoever. Um, and so I'm going to start off with that negative note, and then we'll get to a positive one. But what I don't love is the Ulta Beauty SPF 50 Rose Water Setting Spray. It has a matte finish, water resistant, um, and UVA, UVB protection. It looks like this. This burns when I spray it on my face and I had used it in the summer and like, you know, the very first time it didn't really hurt. But then the second time I applied it, it burned. After that, I was like, you know what? My eczema under my eyes is affecting me. So maybe that's why it's burning. But then it was like everywhere on my face burning. And then I tried it again this month because we were going on like this little hike and nothing. Like it burned a lot. So I don't even want to put this on my face anymore because it burns that much um i don't i just don't recommend it and like in theory it's really cool like to put on before your makeup it should feel refreshing but it does not so i don't recommend this whatsoever um but skincare that i do recommend which i need to get a new spf because i just don't have one that's not mixed in with another product right now but yeah, let me know what you guys recommend for a good SPF to put on my face daily. Just let me know. The first thing, though, that I want to recommend to you guys is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Eye Cream. It has hyaluronic acid. It looks like this, and I love this. This has helped the eczema under my eyes so, so much. It is so hydrating. It feels really nice. It doesn't dissipate really fast. Like, I feel like my skin has time to, like, drink it in. And you know that it's like creamy when that happens. And I think it's a good price point. And eye creams are like hit or miss. But this is a really good drugstore eye cream that I really recommend. And that I was surprised to love this much. I also love this simple water boost hydrating booster. It has mineral and plant extra extract. And this one has three different ways to use. You can use it as a primer, as a booster to just add a few drops to your daily moisturizer. Or... For very dry dehydrated areas apply directly as needed. The third is the way that I actually use it and I this helps with like the eczema under my eyes that I always get but I always have dry skin above my lip and it can be really really annoying and this has helped it so much just applying this daily just like two tiny little drops barely anything it like sinks in and makeup go, glides on amazingly over top of it but this is like inexpensive as well and like Estee Lauder products there like oils work great for that specific purpose as well but this I love like love 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 and it's way more inexpensive and so I just want to recommend that because this has been an amazing find so try it out if you're looking or if you have that kind of issue um, I will say though, when I first started it, I felt like I was getting so many breakouts around there. And I think it's because my skin didn't need it at the time. Like I only use it now when it feels dry. And then once I apply it for a couple days, I feel like it gets better. And then if I were to reapply it again, it would get too oily and then cause a little bit of a breakout. So I feel like it's pretty concentrated. So use it when you need it. But I definitely needed it, especially it's been winter here, so I needed this a lot, and I absolutely loved it. I also love this Neutrogena Deep Moisture Night Cream. This is a great moisturizer at night. I feel like my skin feels so hydrated, so amazing, and in the morning so soft. So I love, love, love this one. Another skincare item. This I didn't expect to love as much as I do, but it's the Freeman Beauty Infusion Purifying and Shower Mask. It has sea kelp probiotics, instantly boosts clarity, restores balance, renews skin. That's all fine and dandy, but what I love this for is I use it in the shower. I don't ever leave it on for the recommended time though because I try to put it on my face, but then I'm like so aware of it. It doesn't feel like a drying mask. It like feels wet the entire time, so I don't really feel like it's doing much as a mask, but it has these little beads in it that scrub your face and basically like peel away dead skin and ugh, your skin feels so clean afterwards and it's just like a great exfoliant and I don't feel like it's too harsh for my face it feels amazing and I use it mostly every time I wash my hair so not every day but every two to three days ish 
Um, but yeah, I just noticed the difference and I really, really love this and I will definitely repurchase this because it feels amazing and it's easy to do in the shower. Um, do you have any more skincare? Oh, this is what I was mentioning aside from the simple hydra hydrating booster. I don't know why I couldn't remember or say that. Um, is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This oil is amazing. I have multiple bottles of this, so I'm showing you the nice new one. So it looks prettier because I've rubbed off the one that I'm actually using currently. Um, but this stuff is amazing for like any eczema that you have, dry skin. A little bit goes a long way. This bottle lasts a really long time and I definitely love it. But this is a cheaper version, but I still recommend both. I love, love, love them and will continue to use both of them. I almost hit myself in the eye there. <sighs> Delirious here. <laughs> um, now for hair care, which hair care I haven't found that I loved things in a long while. Now, the first one that I will mention is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in Coconut and Exotic Tropical. I just love this scent so much and I love ba Batiste dry shampoo so much and I just wanted to put it in my favorites because I did use it a lot especially since I've been straightening my hair a lot more often this winter this has been great because I always get oily skin like on the second day literally second day it's going to be oily no matter what for me so I've been trying to extend the life of the color that's in my hair and not wash my hair literally every day so this has been my best friend and I just wanted to give it a shout out. But I have mentioned that in favorites before. So at Ulta Beauty, I had found these Hosk Biotin Boost 5-in-1 Leave-In Spray. I mentioned this when I purchased it and I do really, really like this. It does have this herbally smell that isn't my favorite, but it is like a Moroccan oil kind of scent to it. But I do feel like it helps a lot with my hair, especially because after I color treated it, my hair gets so knotted, like so knotted. And this has really, really, really helped. And I don't feel like I have to spray so much. Like I've had it for a while and I'm only right here. But I use this every two to three days since for about a month and a half now. So it's working really, really well. But I, I really do like it and I do recommend that one. And then the Hosk Argon Oil. Um, this one strengthens and restores repairing shine hair oil. This really, really does help as well, especially when I curl my hair. I feel like it weighs it down a little bit when I straighten my hair. I will say that, but when I curl my hair and add this to the ends, it is amazing and helps, but it's also good for like a treatment. I feel like, um, when I'm cleaning and I put this in my hair and just have that oil sinking in like a bun on the top of my head. I really do like it so I just wanted to give you an update that I do love these two and last but not least is not hair care but it's the perfume that I showed in my Target haul and it is the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Perfume this is my favorite perfume right now my absolute favorite oh it's amazing the coconut smell I don't know it just I'm an island girl this makes me happy and I'm so glad that I found this and I don't know I was living under a rock but this is amazing. So just wanted to shout that out. So that's everything for this favorites video. I know that I didn't include any makeup in here, but that's because towards the end of the month, I tried newer makeup, but not so much to include in this month, probably next month, but I am going to bring back monthly favorites, probably most likely for the most part. Um, cause I know I really didn't do that last year and I used to do it all the time, but I don't know. Sometimes I don't ever feel like I have enough stuff to show you for a video that I might as well just mention it in random videos that I make so that you're aware of them or in empties videos, which I didn't do a fall empties video. I just completely forgot with all the other videos I was filming and then it was like winter time and I felt like it was too late. So I'm going to do a combined fall winter empties and that will probably be really long because now I already have like a big basket full of stuff to show you guys, but stay tuned for that. But I feel like we still have another month and a half until winter's over, so way more stuff is gonna be accumulated. I'm trying to finish some stuff up, let me tell you. But that's everything, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys.